I'm going to climb every rung on the ladder. Music. What the hell is that? Follow that van. So that is commonly known to ride every rung of the ladder. Past the Porsche with a roof rack. That's the weirdest thing I've seen in a long time. I guess beer and gin wasn't good enough or something. I'm going to duck it down, duck it. <laughs> ah, they're not going to wear me down. <laughs> Through the weeds. Let's keep going. When I get to the end, I'm going to land on a snake across the other side. And it's going to be all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> Look at that, it's right up my street. I mean, they got the police are up for something. Maybe there's something going on in the park. Hmm. Up the Umpreville. And this is something you don't see every day. Tonight, we are battling the traffic again. We're on our way to Haringey. It's an interesting little road feature I want to try out. See if we can find it. Oopa. Got a heavy witch about you. Follow that van. Crazy bikers, people everywhere. Hey everybody. I've got the magic. Where's this guy going? This is Haringey. Now let's see what we can do with it. A new part of town, a different area. Somewhere a little bit quirky. Behind me here is Finsbury Park. Directly opposite me is Whiteman Road. That's Whiteman Road. And down the bottom is Green Lanes. And between the two of them joins up a series of streets, parallel streets. There's about 20 of them. And they continue along all the way up to Turnpike Lane at the end. And they are so parallel and so consistent that when you look at them on a map, they look like a ladder. So that is commonly known as the Haringey Ladder. And tonight, the plan is to ride every rung of the ladder. Most of them run one up, one down, one up, one down. But there's the odd catch, where some of them don't do that. So I've got to look out for those. Anyway, the plan is to ride every rung of the ladder. And as I ride each one, I'll give you the street name so we can check. So the first rung is just up ahead. And I've got to be careful on that one, because it is the only broken rung on the ladder. It's broken up by the new river. And the new river runs halfway along the ladder all the way and continues on into central London. So let's get cracking and get on with riding the ladder. This is hectic. How am I gonna do this? This is Endymion Road. And this to me is rung number one. The way in to the broken rung. This is the only rung on the ladder which is broken up. This is the first half. Ooh. Because there is the new river. That's that. Moving on. So I've got to double back on myself now, straight away. And we are now crossing the new river. There it goes. And past the Porsche with a roof rack. That's the weirdest thing I've seen in a long time. Into Tancred. Right. The other half of the broken rung. Oh, well, I better complete the cycle, I suppose. There you go. About a minute ago, I was just over that side there. There's the nice new river. This new river was built in something like 1619 or something by some clever engineer. And um, the idea was to bring fresh water down from Ware or Hartford, take it into central London where they needed more fresh water because I guess beer and gin wasn't good enough or something. I don't know. People want everything these days. Well, what an evening, look at this. How many times can I say ladder on this trip, eh? Ooh, there's a one way. Oh, God. Here we go with my one, my antics again. Never mind that. Pretend you didn't see it. Okay, full rung number one. Here we go. Name of the road. This is Umfraville Road. I'll talk about the names of the roads a bit later. Right, just approaching the top of Umfraville. It's a little bit steep. But there's worse to come. What's this road called? Burgoyne Road. Burgoyne with you. Oh, look at this, a lovely downhill. 
Did I mention there's about 20 of these? I'm back onto green lanes. It goes. Straight away, here's our next one. Street name, what we got, what we got? Cavendish. So upmark Cavendish. Sir Mark Cavendish as he is now. Ethos. This is a steep one up the top by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, it's a bit on the steep side, this one. Phew, I mean, it's, it's fine, I can do it, it's fine. It's not a problem, it's fine. Yeah. How many years have I got? <laughs> I got loads left. I never use up all my gears. Always keep at least one in reserve. Come back onto Whiteman Road. Yeah, bit of a dodgy junction, this one, down to duck it. I'm gonna duck it down, duck it. Oh, I get trapped between cars there. Here we go. The speed is probably pretty good. <laughs> See people walking across. Oh yes. Who doesn't love a bit of downhill, even though it's short? Back on the green lanes. And straight away, here's the next one. Yep, this is my direction. This one is Matteson Road. Ah, it's uphill. Who'd have thought it? I'm trying. <laughs> oh man, he confused the hell out of me. <laughs> All right, what we got here? Pemberton, now then. Pemberton is relevant, kind of. So I can go down Pemberton, across the New River, past the school, past the alley, right here, left again. Right, we're back on it. This is the next one. So one way, go on, no, never mind. This is Wareham Road. Ah, they're not going to wear me down. <laughs> yeah, you can't keep a good soldier down, I tell you. Not steep either. It's got a bump in the middle and that's it. Well, that's a proper mini. <laughs> right. The end of Wareham Road. Hanging a right. Seymour Road just there. Is the other one that goes the same way as Wareham Road. So, I'm going to skip it come back up it, then go back down it, or back up it or something. We've got to go up Hewitt here. Come on, let me in. Hewitt! Ooh, starts with a little sharp hill. Yikes. Over the crest. Look at that view. That's quite nice, that. Yep, that'll be Tottenham Hill. All right. On the speed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Speed bumps my ass. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a tricky bit because I've got to get across and across again. Dippy London, let's be cheeky. Look at that Salisbury Hotel. That's a nice looking boozer. Looks like the one in the assembly house in Kentish Town, doesn't it? Right, here we go. Cheekiness, thanks mate. Up Seymour Road. You gotta be cheeky when you live in London. You can't mess about. Those of you who know who live here know what it's like. I'll just plow on. If you live or have lived in London, you know you gotta be a bit cheeky. Well, this is quite nice, this one. What did I call this? Seymour. I think because the sun's out and it's not quite as steep. This must be where the new river starts, I think. There. And up there, yeah because it comes in at an angle. Okay, what's next? Are you kidding me? I miscalculated. I've got to go on another one and come back. Bugger. No problem, we can do that. Down Beresford. Is it getting nicer up here? It's not so scuzzy. Down the hill, over the fun bumps. As I sometimes call them. I missed the street, I've got to go back and get it. I don't want my ladder to be unfinished, do I? Oh, the beauty of being on a bike, eh? Nothing can stop you. Uh, ding, ding, ding. 
Allison. Up the Allison. That's what I see. Boy, Allison, you steep son of a. Look at that. Now, this I could do without about now. But never mind. It's all part of the game. Up the Allison. I reckon we're on 8% at the moment. It's got to be going up to 12 looking at that. Maybe 14. I'll let you know, my legs have got built in percentage meters in them. Ooh, this is this is 18 percent easily. How many gears have I got left? Four. I've got four gears left. Can I do it on this one? Of course I can. And he's done it. Over the crest and down. Still got four gears in reserve. My old friend White Man Road. Next, Effingham's effed up. I'll take the next one and come back up Effingham. Bloody hell. What's going on? We've got to take Fairfax. I should have known this. Fairfax is pretty shallow, pretty flat. Back onto green lanes it is. And up Effingham, up Effing Effingham Road. <laughs> if only you knew. <laughs> uh, well, F them, I say. F them all. <laughs> Artist Giza. When did shallow become a word for hills? Just maybe we'll do the passage on the way back. Who knows? Up to the garage at the end. <laughs> Oh, every time I come up to Whiteman Road, it confuses me. Who's next? I don't believe it. Falkland Road. My plans have all gone wrong. I've got to go down and double back again. Let's try that again. Who's next? Frobisher. Follow that bike. Oh. <laughs> Well, we just happen to have stopped here a minute. Right by one of the alleys. So I'll give you a little look what it's like. I think they call it the Haringey Passage or something. And there's a lady coming through on a bike. And it goes all the way from one end, Turnpike Lane, I believe, right down through the weeds, across the other side, to Endemon Road, where we were at the beginning. Let's keep going. Okay, so this is where it changes just a little bit. I can't remember, have I skipped one? I've just got to stop and check you by the Prince of Peace. I don't think I did Falkland Road. I've got to go back. Unbelievable. Who would have thought straight lines would be confusing? Well, you know, I've got a green light. Speed and power? I think so. Yes, sir. Up Falkland. Sorry, Argentinios. This is the Falkland. It's pretty flat. I noticed they haven't called it the last mile Venus Road. Auckland, hmm. Which reminds me, the naming of these roads. Nobody's 100% clear on where they got their names from that I've been calling out along the way. This is Falkland Road. But the strongest theory is that it was named after the Masons. Because the Masons got a lodge somewhere over in Hornsey, which is just up on the other side up there. Or apparently, it might have been named after prominent Masonic leaders. There was one in particular whose name definitely features. The fact that we're on Falkland, because some people have said it might be to do with generals and people in the military, along with, you know, in the 1700s, 1800s. Now Falkland, who knows? Maybe there's a connection to the Falklands. I really don't know. Right, Frobisher, we did that. Luzanne, oh, you are kidding me. I don't believe it. My plans have gone all to cock. Luzanne is a one-way street going the other way. Right, remember this now, Jones. Down and back up Luzanne. I know one-way streets don't bother me normally, but I didn't want to make a whole video of it going the wrong way on one-way streets. Although, I probably would have done pretty well. So this is Luzanne. It's a place in uh, Switzerland called Lausanne. I think I've been there. I keep talking to you lot. 
and I keep forgetting which way I'm supposed to be going. All right, I know I've got to go down and back up. I'm doing more miles than I planned. All right, here's Luzanne, let's get up there. I hope my Strava's still working. It's got very quiet now, everybody's gone home, I think. I'm beating the rush past the mosque, right there. What is going on? Okay, down here, what's this one? Sydney. Down Sydney. Easy, buddy. Oh, a few flats going on here in Sydney. I'm beginning to think I'm going to have to ride the Harringay Passage, aren't I? It's too good to miss. I mean, I love a lane, I love an alley. I'm going to have to do the Harringay Passage at the end. It'd be like snakes and ladders. When I get to the end, I'm going to land on a snake. And it's going to be all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Maybe not, we'll see. Back down here, because I skipped the street. Up at Raleigh Road. And if you're from an era like me, where bikes were either Dawes, Rally, not Cannondale, older than that. Rally was one of them. I'm sure there's no connection here except for maybe Sir Walter Rally is what we were talking about earlier. Apparently there is a connection to him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I did a barge in round here. I think we have reached the end of the ladder. Because that was Sydney. Eh. How am I going to do this? Will you lot forgive me if I just, you know, be a bit creative here? Yeah, I'm sure you will. Right, right, we'll just cut all that bit. This is Turnpike Lane, and to be honest, I was expecting to be going up that way up it. There you go. You improvise. Oh, look, a red light, best stop of this. Look at that, it's right up my street. That is cool. I mean, Nikon, come on. We are getting a lovely bit of sunlight at the end of the day. A little bit of uh, ducking and diving. All right, what can I do? I hang a right by Turnpike Lane. Just like this. There we have it, Turnpike Lane tube station. At the other end, we've got Harringay Green Lanes tube station and train station. Somewhere in the middle, we've got Harringay. Somewhere on the ladder in the middle. Ooh, we've got some flashing lights. Uh, should we be nosy and have a look? Yeah, why not? Well, what's going on? The police are up to something. Maybe there's something going on in the park. Ah, uh, let's do it. What the hell? We're almost at the top rung of the ladder. We've done Turnpike Lane, which was the top rung. And now, we're going to fly down the passage. Because there it is. For the hell of it, why not? Down the lanes, it is. Oh, it's like, this is fun, isn't it? It's fun for me. So we get to slide down the snake of the ladder now. We rolled the dice and landed on the wrong spot. And we have to slide all the way back down to the beginning. A little bend in the snake. It gets wider here. Come on. Squeeze it past. Thank you. There is food. One of the steeper ones. Guzzy London rides again. Now listen. A bit of a curb hop for me. Slightly bigger one. Hewitt. Look at these spikes. Oof, man. That is seriously spiky. It's very narrow, this passage. I think I can see some light at the end of the passage. Wear them down. Pemberton Road, by the school. There we go. Duck it, that's what I say. Cavendish, the first deep one. It's very dark down Cavendish. Umfraville, this is at the beginning. And that is it. No more alley. Up the Umfraville. What do you reckon? Did you come here on your holidays? <laughs> We've just ridden the ladder. What do you think of it? I think it's kind of a quirky feature in London. I don't suppose there's many of these around the place. Well, that was the Harringay ladder. 
I hope it was interesting and I'll see you on the next adventure.